save you. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Defiance is a lot of fun. Yet there are times when you wonder how it is that you're having so much fun when the game you're playing is so buggy and so flawed. This massively multiplayer shooter doesn't do any one thing particularly well, but its elements come together to make for a rollicking good time. What a shame that the fun is sometimes marred by a number of execution issues, both big and small. That's particularly the case on consoles, where chugging frame rates and visual glitches take their toll. Defiance takes place on Earth, more specifically in the San Francisco Bay Area. An alien war has ended and an uncertain peace remains. The remnants of a fleet of spaceships orbit the planet, occasionally plummeting onto the land beneath. It's a great concept, and it ties to the Sci-Fi Network's television show of the same name. You shouldn't come to Defiance to be immersed in the world, though. It lacks the tense atmosphere and variety that could have made its destructive environments compelling. Story-based missions feature a lot of cutscenes, but drab visuals and cornball dialogue keep you from getting all that invested. On three. One. Two. Three! No, don't kill me! What the jack are you doing in there? Playing seven minutes in heaven. What the hell do you think I'm doing? I'm hiding from the gun-wielding monsters. Where's the core? I'm sorry, who is this really hot girl, and why is she demanding responses from me? I'm the really hot girl who's been helping your paid Ark Hunter find you free of charge. Ark Hunters, do you copy? Did you locate Von Bach? We did, and he's an asshole. In many ways, Defiance is a traditional, massively multiplayer game. You move from mission to mission, clearing meadows of raiders and bugs, interacting with computer terminals, and so forth. However, Defiance is a shooter, so forget hot bars and magic spells. You do get special skills to mess with, though, like being able to create a decoy or turning yourself invisible. You also earn points to spend on passive perks that you can then add to your loadout. Of course, the main components of your loadouts are your weapons. There are loads of choices in this regard. You get an early taste with simple pistols and machine guns, but later, such guns come with effects like poison and fire, and you can upgrade them with various modifications. There are numerous types of rocket launchers, infectors that cause enemies to be swarmed with bugs, and weapons that both hurt enemies and heal friends. When it comes to guns, there's a lot going on, and it's impossible to resist the lure of cool new toys to play with. Even if you stick with a particular weapon for a while, though, the pace of progression is smooth. Defiance also scales really well based on how many players are in the vicinity, so you get to tour the post-apocalyptic expanses rather quickly. A typical stretch of Defiance often involves taking on a mission, summoning your ATV or some other vehicle, and zooming towards your destination. The shooting then begins, and both the fun and the problems start to surface. Defiance's third-person shooting is serviceable, Enemies don't usually just stand around, so you need to be on the move, and the action has a light, speedy feel. But there isn't much oomph or weight to your shots, so the guns can feel more like toys than destructive forces. And while you may not expect top-notch AI from an MMO, enemy behavior is so random that it takes away some of the action's bite. Defiance tries to compensate for this by throwing a bunch of guys with rocket launchers, riot shields, and flamethrowers after you, usually during story missions but such encounters are sometimes more frustrating than rewarding. Of course, you can have buddies along if you're having trouble, but you only really need to group in the well-paced co-op missions that end in a big boss and lots of loot together. Players also come together in the super fun Ark Falls, in which space debris falls from the sky and everyone clamors to fight all the bugs and robots that converge on them. These explosive battles show Defiance at its best, pitting dozens of players against dozens of fearsome enemies. Driving from one battle to the next, you join a makeshift caravan of other greedy players brought together by a selfish lust for money and valuables. But to deal with the fun, you also have to deal with the bugs and other execution flaws. 
For example, there's a player versus player mode called Shadow War. At its best, Shadow War is an intense tug of war between two teams struggling against the local wildlife in addition to each other. But the way friends and enemies spawn in together and create immediate chaos is silly, as are other oddities, like possibly spawning in and immediately taking damage for no reason, as if you were dropped from the sky. Elsewhere, you might lose mission progress, have weapons disappear from your inventory, or run into annoying audio bugs. Chat doesn't work right, though that's not much of a loss since there's little sense of in-game community. Trying to grab loot at the end of an arc fall means having to wait for the button prompt to appear because the game can't handle the enormous crowd of players all trying to get loot from the same spot. And on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, low frame rates, geometric pop-in, and other graphics problems bring their own kinds of discomforts. Those might not seem like insurmountable problems, but there are tons of them. Yet, Defiance has a real spark that keeps you coming back for more. The game's systems are merely decent, but combined, they produce enough excitement and variety to keep you pressing forward. This is the B-movie of persistent world games. It's rough and troubled, but Defiance is a good time all the same. Don't do it. You will die. I promise. Goddamn Raiders. Always do the opposite you tell them.